we're going to create a list of figures and a list of tables in our Microsoft Word document. There's two stages. The first stage is to create captions for all your figures and your tables. And then you create your list of tables and your list of figures. So how do we create the captions? I'm going to start with this figure here. You can either right click on it, insert caption, or on the references tab in your ribbon, click on insert caption. Now, the first thing to think about is your label. Is it a figure, equation, or table? Well, we've got a figure here, and it will automatically number your figures sequentially. So then you've got to put a description after it. So figure one, let's just say head icon. Position of your caption can be above the selected item or below. We'll keep with above. Click on OK, and there's your caption. Now, if you have chapter numbers in your document, and if you don't know how to include chapter numbers, then I'll leave a link to the relevant video, top right of this video. Let's include chapter numbers. So you select the figure, insert caption, go to numbering, include chapter number, and you have to specify which style you've used for your chapters, and it's normally heading one. Click on OK, and the first number is the chapter number. So I'll say head icon in chapter one. Click on OK. Now let's do the same for this table. So you click into the table, up to the insert caption button. So you need to make sure that the label this time is table and if you want to include chapter numbers, then just go to numbering here, include chapter numbers, click on OK, and you do the same thing. Put a description in your caption, table in chapter one. So if I scroll down and do the same thing here, click into the table, insert caption, you can see that it's automatically numbered the table. Table in chapter one. Now, if I go down to chapter two and I create a capture for this figure, change it to figure, you can see now that the first number is two because I'm in chapter two, and this is the first figure in that chapter. Chart image in chapter two. If I go down to the first table in chapter two. So I'm chapter two and it's the first table. So you can see how the numbering works. Now, if I was to add a table above the first table in chapter one, what will happen to the numbering, well, let's add a table here. If I just copy this one and I add a caption, you can see that it's recognized that this is the first table in this chapter. Click on OK, and then when I've clicked on OK, it's renumbered the other tables. I'll bring this down onto a new page. Now, I missed this one out. I just want to show you on this one how to change the actual way the caption appears in your document. So, insert caption table in chapter one. Click on OK. So, if you don't like the look, or the font, or the font size, what you can do is go to the home tab of your ribbon. And just click on this more button in the styles gallery and you'll see that you have a style called caption now if you right click on that and modify you can change the look so you could change the font you could change the size you can even change the color so i'll make it look terrible just to make it obvious and that will then change the 
formatting for all the captions in your document. Okay, so we've created our captions. So now let's look at creating the list of tables and the list of figures. So that will go under your table of contents. So list of tables, go to the references tab on your ribbon, insert table of figures, and all you need to make sure is that you have the right caption label selected for your list of tables, and that would be table rather than figure. Click on OK, and it will create your list of tables. List of figures, you do the same thing. Insert table of figures, change this to figure. Click on OK, and it creates your table of figures. Now, if I was to amend a caption, let's type amended here and I want my table of figures to reflect that change, what I'd do is I'd right click into the list of figures, update field, update entire table, and that amendment will appear in the list of figures. But if I add a new table to chapter two, so I'll copy this, I'll paste it here, I'll add, caption, new table, back up to my list of tables, right click, update field, update entire table, and there we are, I have my new entry in my list of tables. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.